and say that there's one one game that we have to look back on and look forward to the New Zealand Maori and Fiji. Yeah, uh, awesome, what a game. awesome job. Fiji, Fiji got it done. Yeah. First time since was it 1950? 57. 57. Yeah, they beat the. Uh, that? Beat the uh, beat, beat the New beat Zealand, Zealand Maori, Maori. Maori. And, uh, and they were good value for it. They were better so, than them. Did so comfortably and did so off the back of a strong defence. And yeah. that's crucial yeah um, that's building on where they yes. were last year with yeah. that with that France that's performance like John it's... McKee is determined not to let that that defence coach absence sink him and every interview I hear with him he just impresses me more yeah like oh, I actually some... think that Leinster should sign him <laughs> <laughs> at some point that would be so cruel taking him away from Fiji yeah, yeah I know yes no, like we could the... at that Chiefs team back in the day yeah, yes we were <laughs> definitely <laughs> amongst those who were <laughs> feasting on that carcass at that point but no, I think John McKee, yeah, you're right in saying he's building things. Like even this this week now, he's rotated out a fair few players. People players like Ben Volavola. Um, there's massive. There's the, the whole but squad he, is, is shipped out. There's no Volavola, Vola, there's no Mata, there's no Nakarawa. Who the spine awesome. of that team. Yeah, 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 awesome in that first showing. But they, their depth is such that they can afford to do that. Well, and he's still working. He was saying he's, as much. He he's was, sounding like a tier one coach when he's talking about he's going to rotate the squad, go to Rotorua, have a look at some other combinations. Check, check our you know? depth. It's something he needs to know. He yeah. needs to know if those key guys go down. The guys in behind who look flashy as hell in training, mm -hmm. like they're behind for a reason. Are they going to be able to go to New Zealand and, and go toe to toe with the Mary? And that's it, this is going to be good learnings yeah. for him. And it's a hell of a risk. I mean, it's not something you do in any other circumstance unless no. you're taking the World Cup seriously because it's essentially what he's doing is risking losing a, a, a series against the Mary from, from, a, from, from a winning position. position. Yeah. And uh, and I, I just think that's smart in a lot of ways. Because it's true. Well, he does have a 17-point buffer on the, yeah. on the two-game series. It would, take, it would take a ways to do it. Yeah. But the game was a treat. Oh. Fiji were awesome. Yeah. Um, I saw the highlights. I stayed up. I stayed up till four a.m. Couldn't find any ways of what any means of watching know, the game. Yeah. Short yeah, of giving ESPN twenty five quid for a year or month subscription yeah. or whatever the hell it is, it wasn't going to do it. No, so I didn't get to see the full game. I did get to see the highlights, and I yeah, got to some read about beautiful it. tries. Um, in yeah, there. Totally. Like speaking of like combination of the Bill Matta try with the Nakarawa crazy bamboozling touch yeah, in the middle yeah. of it. It was good to see those combine. So and, uh, Bill, Bill, uh, Bill Matta, who's quietly himself. I think becoming one of, if not the best number eights in the world. He's, he's, been, there, yeah. he's been the key to everything that's been good about Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And the way he just grabbed Akira Ioani and just says, no, yeah, nope, yeah. Akira get Ioani out of here. Doing an impression of a, a very soft number eight yeah. in, that, uh, in that little sequence of play, to be fair. like He's mm. probably sh showing some of the holes in his game yep. that are making him more merry than All Black. Yep. But... Frank Frank Lamani at nine, I think a find. Was, very sharp, yeah, very good player. Same with that, that we fifteen. Um, yeah, what's his, yeah, I can, can't pronounce um, his name. It's a uh, uh, Vika. Uh, excuse me, Vita Cani. Vita Cani. Yeah, uh, yeah, with the blue headgear, it was an awesome. A small yeah. little guy, but and really, really tasty footballer. Ch lovely chips ahead, attacking, yeah. probing kicks. Good kind of passing distribution game as well. Mm. Good fixing and getting Nia, show and go for that try. Naya Salevu at 13 was looking brilliant in yeah, Radra's which, which absence. So Radra I mean, wasn't even there. This is why, yeah. even even though they're resting all these players this week, it's it's kind of hard to say that it's a B team because they just have such depth of quality. Yeah, well, Radra's still actually out injured, so they're even mm. going. But they are bringing Naya Salevu and they are bringing uh, Vetakani mm. uh, from fullback. So those two guys are going to be back again next awesome. week. It'd be good to see more of them. Tui Silva on the wing, I thought was great. Really as well. good, yeah. Um, and actually, Patrick Os Osborne is going to be in next week as True. well. Actually, even Ben Volavola, who you were casting aspersions about his kicking game, but his passing game seemed to be on point. Yeah, yeah. there was a lot of Finn Russell in mm. what he was doing. It's true, yeah. A lot of beautiful left-handed floater passes that just get outside of the defense of thirteen. Mm -hmm. Rob Thompson, who I was big enough before the game, was kind of made a mug of on a mm. few occasions. He was, yeah. Um, it's it, it, Fiji's elite, to you, elite like, attack. That's yeah. the thing, and uh, the key to it is offloads. Yeah, they, they just, just don't. Never they just dry. refuse to let a breakdown happen. Refuse yeah. to let the defense get set, and everybody's on the same page. It's mm -hmm. like watching the sevens team. They're running great tracking lines. They're always keeping the hands free and alive. And that's the point: is that if there's someone's locked up in a contact or is about to go to ground, occasionally they have to take it down. But they'll just keep it going if yeah. they can, and everyone's everyone's in sync with that. So tracking runners are going to be running those appropriate lines when they get the ball. You're going to scramble to try and shut that down mm -hmm. and just fling it backward. They yeah. know someone's coming up, and then they'll find the space. This keep it, it alive, keep yeah. it alive, suck you in, find the space, and it's that simple. And they make it look that simple they because do. they're all extremely skilled and have a very high level IQ for attacking rugby. They do, they um, do. And and this team, unlike other Fiji teams in the past, seems to be putting an emphasis on defence as well. They were shutting yeah. down a lot of what the Mary had to bring. Mm. They were getting in their faces. Line speed was good. 
Um, yeah. And just, yeah, because they are physically there for the hits and the totally. jits being just sometimes the cohesion in phase play has come unstuck. And it's still sometimes the case now. But yeah. it'll, and it'll be I, arguably more so down in Rotorua as well. Like, I think I expect a more competitive Maori uh, side. I expect a bit of a backlash. A little bit of wound, yeah. A little bit of wound. They definitely won't want to go back-to-back losses against Fiji. That's no, not yeah. on the cards for them no, at all. their home fans yeah. either, yeah. So um, I, I suspect this will probably be a more competitive game yeah. even than the, the first The Maori is a team that's just so wrapped in pride as well. Mm. And they, they, they it's quite, a, it's almost like a little spiritual experience being a part of that team. They take mm-hmm. it very seriously. Mm-hmm. And they don't like the, they don't like disrespecting the jersey. Or losing in it. Or which is the it. most disrespectful thing yes. you can do as far as they're concerned. So, so they will absolutely be be hungry for it and yeah. Fiji that, that's the great thing about this game is having won last week again pressure's sort of off they won't want to take a step back and get and, mm. and ship a big loss no. but they're going to get to experience a little more of a culture they're going away from home yeah. they will have their fans in Rotorua no doubt sure yeah, but, yeah. Um, but they are going away from home they're going to get to, uh, they're going to get to experience an angry New Zealand team coming at them mm-hmm. and, uh, which is definitely good prep again gonna, yeah we're going to get to see them respond to it yeah if there's a weakness in their team, like we talk about, they do have what's becoming a very, very good defence mm-hmm. that can make tries for them through yeah, turnovers. Yeah, sure, actually one of the there. tries did come from that turnover, mm-hmm. bit of defensive pressure yeah. leading to a drop ball. And then another one yeah. that was good, of a loose kick forced uh, yeah. forced pack as well. Yeah, no, defence yielding tries from yeah. this good. You're going to say set piece. I was going to say set piece, yeah. yeah. It's no, just, right. it's so not in their DNA. No. Like the scrum and the line out. Even rooks they want to avoid. Yeah, they're just like, means of restarting the play. Yeah it's not they're not a set piece team and that's why like the Georgians might surprise them even yeah. like that that's the negative Fijian picture in the World Cup is the Georgians mm-hmm. surprising them yeah. and locking them and controlling them down the pace of the game is just a drag to a standstill and yeah, then all yeah. of a sudden you're just, just scrumming and the Georgians just won't stop scrumming yeah. and they're like we gave you your penalty can we play rugby now and they're like I think we'll go for another yeah, scrum, scrum here. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's oh. just yeah indeed. loads of hairy Georgian yeah. men rubbing their hands yeah, together exactly you know? yeah. and that's the danger is that they definitely they, they just see set piece as a means of, of restarting the game. And if they can get it to that level where it's fine, mm-hmm. they'll probably be okay against Australia and Wales, and then they can restart it. Wales if, will definitely be wanting to get a shove on in, uh, in that area against Fiji. Yeah. More so, like, Wales have more of a tradition of trying mm. to attack with a scrum a little bit more yeah. than Australia, who are more... But even more Australia. Aligned, like Australia are more Brumbies aligned with boys. that Fiji kind of thing yeah. of just, just lock down the scrum and we'll go. But yeah. then Brumbies, yeah, do scrum yeah. for penalties and, yeah. and penalty for malls. Yeah, so they, they do have to be careful. It's definitely a work on. And I think going into the World Cup, it's got to get better than it was last week. And that's the only critique because this was a phenomenal performance. They're mm. at the level. Mm-hmm. They're better than the level when it comes to attacking rugby. They're just... They are. They're, they're different level. Different they're plane. just a different level. Like yeah. to anyone in Europe. Yeah. Just forget about it. Their attack is beyond elite. It's phenomenal. Yeah. But it's the set piece and those little... And even you know, the rooks. If, the it, game if, if, slows if, if down, a team manages yeah. to get their tackles in and stuff the offload... I suspect there there are inroads for like yeah. a dog at number seven causing them proper hassle if yeah. there are too many too many rooks. Totally. But they're gonna be doing their darndest to avoid that by just getting their hands free whichever exactly. way it's going. Which is why stylistic it's such an opportunity for fun stylistic matchups. Yeah. It makes them uh, well, they're one always of, if not the funnest like, team yeah, to yeah, watch. Like you yeah. can, if you're tr- showing someone who's not a fan of rugby at all or trying to get them into the yeah, yeah. stick a Fiji game on. That's yeah. a surefire way to go, Oh, it's kinda well. like basketball. <laughs> <laughs> it is when it's played like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't be. I won't be showing you the Brumbies game from earlier in the year. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, no. This is a, It's it's some. I, I kind of think the backlash might be too much for them, um, but I suspect this will be a tighter game. In mm. either way, whichever team takes yeah, it, it'll be a tighter game than last they week. Have, it's going to be a proper competitive one. They have impressed me so much mm-hmm. so far that I find it hard to root against uh, to mm. to back against them. Yeah, like I just think. I haven't seen the evidence yet, even though it's sort of, you think historically that it's there, that when a game gets tight, that they will be the ones to buckle and they will start knocking on mm-hmm. and they will but you also slip haven't off seen the, the evidence with this Mary team, obviously, only no, that's my showing point. that they're going to be the ones to do it. Indeed, that's know? my point, is that I think that I think that when the going has got tough for this Fiji team in recent times, be it in the Pacific Nations Cup and that game in Paris uh, last week, mm-hmm. like and again, perhaps this week, they have not buckled no and that's what he's trying to bet into them and that's what he's trying to bet embed into them as a squad mm-hmm. is actually we're going to take out some of your key talisman we're going to take out some of your biggest most dexterous and versatile forwards and then we're going to see what you can do then because the mm-hmm. whole squad needs to be able to defend like we defended last week and, and in paris yeah and this is a, another great challenge to them and on every occasion they've risen to the challenge so far the the, the, yeah. the sort of 
stepping stone challenges that McKee is laying He's out kind for of them. plotting the course yeah. to the World Cup. And, yeah. and this is the next step of it. And we've yet to see them take a step back. So who knows? Why not why can't they win back to back? I mean the Mary are not all that they're cracked up to be it's this true time it's true and yeah. like even things like the 10 jersey Vola Vola is is probably a bit better than Audrey Black in some of these pressure situations but he's, he's, he's out he's Vola Vola's out Vola Vola's Vola out a it's great so decision because they have no one in behind them. Yeah, and who and they, like yeah, because yeah. it's who are they going to stick there? I actually, if, don't if know, push yeah. comes to shove, or even this week. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, these are all little things that McKee is looking at in preparation because he does just have a wealth of talent to try and mm. compile into a team, but he also has to combat things like you're saying, like where they're their just lack of interest seemingly in the set piece get aspect of the game sometimes yeah. that is going to cost them against certain teams they're going to want to prepare yeah. better certainly for the georgia game which is one even if they get lofty ambitions of of taking points off wales or and, and, yeah, uh, yeah. and off australia and just cannot and course, sleep on the georgians no. i mean if they play to their peak they could rip georgia apart Easily. they could put 40 on georgia yeah. no question yeah. and if, if they get a few early tries georgia are done, done. yeah but if things start to go wrong, that game could slow. become a nightmare. Yeah. That game could become a World Cup derailing nightmare. And yeah. it's something that has to be in John McKee's mind as well. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is a good chance to kind of um, like, like, and th that's why I approved of the eight different props that were yeah, in totally. the White Scroll. Let's see what like, we got. Let's see who yeah, yeah. is going to be our best option for locking down a scrum at least. At least long enough to get it out the back and take it off penalty. Indeed. Just, that's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. So picking your hooker is probably who's the best at hooking the ball. <laughs> um, you know, that's one question worth asking as well. Yeah, exactly. If we can get a, get a little 9-2 nine, nine combo that's just yeah. ball in, ball out, that'll work well but for you them. But also, you, you, you've got to be able to scrummage. I mean, it's, yeah. not, it's not good enough on your own ball because if you get into a position in a game of football where every knock-on is an inevitable penalty the other way, yeah. You're it's really death. struggling. It's very, just, very often yeah, death. You're doing mm -hmm. carnage to yourself. Like yeah. you, no favors at all. No. But overall, like the fact that we're critiquing Fiji this way should mean, like, should be an emphasis that, in my brain, they have switched mm -hmm. from you know, you know, I'm not referring to them as a tier two team. They're this is a tier one team, and these are the margins that you talk about for a side that wants to play in a World Cup quarterfinal. Yeah. Which they do. Yeah. Um, and they're good value for it. Like yeah, talent, yeah. player for player, they never really fit in with the, the rest of the tier two because they're always like nearly the spiritual home of this game yeah like, then, like, a lot of those tier two players are playing amateur footy mm -hmm. and almost everyone from the fiji squad is playing professional european football at a high level and and standing out at that level yeah yeah 100 um, true yeah. so it's always been a case of like who's going to be the one to wrangle these into a team and we even saw it in the sevens when that yeah. year when uh who what's ben ryan ben, ben ryan, ryan in the sevens and how he just enforced discipline yeah. on him and literally going it was like a, a quote from him going like listen boys if you if you put on a showing like after one particularly bad loss i think in yeah, a semi-final yeah. thing if you do anything like that again i will fly back to fiji halfway before before we get to next week i will replace drop you off on the plane bring 14 more guys who are gonna try harder for me like you know yeah, yeah. and that is an option and it's a genuine fear because there's mm -hmm. like oh you probably could do yeah. that coach okay i'll try and then yeah, yeah. they suddenly became very disciplined and very they just, just became galvanized and, yeah, around it yeah and, and mckee is brought and then that all went that all the way led yeah. to olympic champions you know yeah. so this is why i'm not there, there, there isn't a Olympic, ceiling on it no there the, isn't the talent is yeah. there's just not a ceiling on it no yeah i've seen that in the sevens game but it's perfectly viable in the 15s yeah. too sure a little bit more set piece has to come in which mm -hmm. is where like they're more natural sevens they're like they're naturally on top of the world of sevens because it's they are everything about yeah, it, how it, game is it removes the set piece and like not quite the breakdown there's fun breakdown yeah. dynamics in sevens now but mm -hmm. really it's removing a lot of those set piece intricacies from yeah. the game sure like yeah but yeah like i wouldn't be giving georgia hope <laughs> against them in sevens no but uh, in the 15s game they still have a few little creases to iron out definitely but it's de it's definitely at the tinkering yeah. phase they have a good squad yeah. there and, and they, listen when you consider the fact that they qualified like the reason they're in the same pool as georgia is because they found themselves fourth seeded mm. such was the at seenus of them yeah um the work that has been done by mm -hmm. John McKee as coach mm -hmm. is down awesome. near like down near the story of the whole world of rugby the this last, like little last um, cycle the world, last World Cup cycle yeah. what's the difference in Fiji going to be Massive. is it going to mean bad news for an Aussie team is it going to mean bad news for a Wales team Potentially. it's already meant bad news it, for New the Zealand the Mary have already team. felt it you know the like, French have felt it French have felt in it in Paris mm -hmm. or Paris yeah it's uh, I, I on their day I backed them as a capable side to beat any, capable of beating anyone because like like yeah. you said that attack is so elite that yeah. even the best defenses in the world will struggle to contain it totally on, on any given day and if you give them a dry track and a fast track they can beat yeah. anyone you know yeah hundred yeah. percent I'm very excited 
And uh, yeah, just a quick hello to all of our new Fijian subs. Yeah, I yeah. was super happy to see see that video last week get a bit of traction. And, uh, it's yeah. been nice to feel a bit of love from the Fijians. Yeah. Go Fiji, go. Yeah, We're on your team. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we are Until you meet Ireland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, or even when we're previewing that Georgia game, it'll be interesting. You know, we love both sides for completely different Indeed, reasons. Yeah. And for that reason, it's, it's the be... beauty of the game. You yeah. can have the elegance of the Fiji versus the brutality, uh, brutality and slowness of it, the yeah, of yeah. the Georgians, and it's just about who's going to set the pace. Yeah, who's totally. who sets the pace it's wins that that game. Mm. I can't wait to preview that game. <laughs> but uh, but in we the meantime, we'll yeah. talk about this game. But we finished up that game. I think. Mm. Uh, yeah. If you're going to call it, I was saying. Fiji, I back Fiji. I'm hoping. Okay, go on. We're going to back Fiji. Yeah, Fiji by two points yeah. in an absolute thriller of a game in Rotorua. Yeah. I'd love that. That, that would be fast. awesome. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, it could go badly. But we'll yeah, see. We know. yeah. Backlash um, from the memory is not unprecedented. No, to be honest. Um, yeah, I and mean, just sleeping on New Zealand sides in general isn't something that you'd be want to do if you're no. going to last long in the betting game when it it's comes true. to rugby. No. Um, um, but yeah, go, but voting with your heart is something we like to do on the podcast. <laughs> every podcast. now and again. Every now and then. Yeah. So yeah, come on, come on Fiji. With that come in on mind. Fiji. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna... Thanks for watching the Overlap Rugby podcast. If you want to uh, subscribe, there should be a button up here. Don't forget to give us a like and uh, share with your friends. And uh, please leave comments down below. We love the conversation. Thanks.